What's going on guys? All right, so we're, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about um, adding a PDF to, or a like an ebook or a video or something that we send to people when they enter their email, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to ClickFunnels, go to Funnels. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing all right. Uh, I just got done doing 40 push-ups, man. It's crazy, I do 30 push-ups every day and then I get 40. Yeah, 10 more push-ups to your set, like per set. And it's like, oh my gosh. So I know that's random, but I was just waiting on this. So let's go to where I have tests because this is our test funnel. This is going to be our funnel that we use through everything, okay? Um, except for when I build funnels. I think that's going to be like a separate thing, okay? We just go edit page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess the first thing I need to do, actually, before we do that, what we're gonna do is go back. Um, because I gotta show you how to add a PDF into what they call the digital asset, okay? Because when you send something, it's called a digital asset. So basically what you wanna do is go over here to your little head over here and hit account settings. There used to be a long list of things right there, but they changed that. Um, and go to digital assets, okay? Now what you're gonna do is, as you see right here, I have a whole whole bunch of um, digital assets that I've put in here. But if you wanna add one, hit new asset. And I don't know if I have anything, guys. So what we're gonna do is, cause this is a brand new laptop. But we're gonna see if I have anything I can add in here. So, um, I don't have anything. Um, let's see here. Documents, maybe? I don't even know what this is. So, um, go to Adobe. No. What about these downloads? That'd be a note. So, let's say I wanted to add this in there. It's a PDF. It's from Frontal Hacking Live. I add that in there. I put... Funnel Hacking Live Notes. Okay. My name is, this is my from name, so when I'm sending to people. Uh, be, oh. Chris Tharp. I cannot type because I type so singing fast. Um, my from email will be uh, chris.tharp uh, at marketing. Funnel Master whoa, 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 whoa. Master .com. Okay, and you're gonna put something like here it is the PDF that you well, don't capitalize it, you opted in for. Okay, now what you can do is hit Add. And it's gonna upload. It. I believe this is a pretty big PDF. So. All right, as you see right here, it's down here. I have success. So now we're gonna just go back to click funnels right here and we're gonna click funnels, okay? What's happening right now, sorry. <laughs> uh, what's happening right now is we're gonna go into that funnel now and we're gonna hit the test, okay? We're gonna go into the funnel and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that digital asset to be sent when people opt in, all right? So what we're gonna do is edit page. See guys, this is one of the biggest things that I literally could not figure out when I started ClickFunnels. So it's like, take this as gold. Like somebody is offering you a million dollar tip right now. Take it. Because the thing was, nobody could tell me. I don't even, the, the gurus couldn't even tell me how to do this. I had to figure it out on my own. I had to search and search and search on YouTube to find this. So I wanted to show you. So first things first, we want to integrate our email in, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to select our integration and we're going to go... Um, let's go with that one. But the problem is I don't have it set up right now. So let's go here. Um, well, the thing is I don't have anything set up right now. I've deleted all these except for get response and I just added my get response back. This one right here, I don't have a setup as a list. Okay, let me just say this, all right? What we're gonna do is you add a list here you're going to add your integration, which will be 
your email marketing service. If you use ClickFunnels, you don't have to go through all this. Um, but if you use, like, say, uh, GetResponse, which I have Get Money. <laughs> Uh, you have Market Hero, which is another email service, or autoresponder service. You have Aweber, which is a very popular one. Guys, I wouldn't suggest Aweber for this, honestly. Um, let this, this is my uh, this is my headline for Sinlane. Legs are broken, but I chase perfection. Okay. Um, and then basically, what you're going to do is inside your email autoresponder, you're going to have lists or tags or something built inside. Let me see if my market here has something inside of it. I don't think so, yeah, because I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it. So, but basically, what it what it would be is like, say, I wanted to add to a list. I, oh, I do have a list. Okay, so I have lists right here. So what I would do is this is for my sin lane. What I would do is go to like, say, I don't know. Path to passive income. Okay, so now I've integrated my email service into this funnel. Okay, I hope I haven't lost you. I will have an email, I mean, a video on how to integrate your email service. Don't worry. But that's how you do that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is because you have that in there, what I want you to do now is you see it's checked. Okay, I want you to go down here that says general. Okay, and then what's going to happen is right here, you see this. What's gonna happen is when they submit, it's gonna take them to this. What did I just do? I hit the screen with my finger and now it's because it's touch screen. Let me go back here. Hit general. It says on submit go. So wherever this is, this is gonna take them to the next page of your thing. But say you wanted to take them to a affiliate website or you wanna take them to your personal website after they did this. All you do is literally put your website in here, okay? So say I wanted to take them to www. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if it'll let me do this because that's actual website that's owned by somebody. But we'll go Bluehost.com, which is a web, um, a web hosting service. And then what we'll do is we'll go to Funnel Hacking Live Notes. Okay, you don't have to do the rest of it, and you don't save anything. Just leave it just like that. This is a page template. Okay, and what I mean by that? Remember in the elements and stuff when we would save templates, it would save this whole page as a template. Okay, so you would be like, oh, I just want to put this in here and change it up. Then you could, okay. But so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna hit save. All right, it's taking forever to save. Forever, forever. Oh my goodness, it's taking forever. But basically what happened is once I save it, I can go to preview. I don't know if it's allowed me to save because the thing is I put Bluehost in there. It might not allow me. Um, I've never tried to go to another website that's owned by another company. I wanted to see if it would work. So um, it's saving this. And then what we do, we hit preview. And once it takes a preview, it allows us to go down here and put an email address and a phone number in. All right. And hit the button. And then what would happen is it would send the PDF. But as you see right now, it's being stupid. So I'm going to hit exit to get out of here. Okay. I'm going to go back in here. It might have saved it. It might have just been taking forever. That's what happens when you run off a cell phone service with your computer inside of a metal building. See, my integrations didn't save. So and my general didn't save. What we're going to do is we're going to integrate again. Remember, you're going to go... I'm gonna go down here to my send lane, okay? I'm gonna select a list, and then I'm going to go to one of them and choose it, okay? Now I'm connected, okay? If you wanna remove it, guys, you would just click that and you could add another one, okay? Then you're gonna go to next settings and you're gonna hit general, okay? It's gonna take us to our next page. I'm not gonna put Bluehost in, I'm just gonna take it to the next page and I'm gonna put Funnel Hacking Live, okay? Now, I'm gonna hit save. Shouldn't take, should, yeah. Okay, see, it saved. It was because I put that website in there. It was probably like, uh, I don't think I can send that to that. No, so. Um, so what we'll do is now we'll preview, okay? And what happens when we preview, you'll put an email address. This is an old email address. I don't even know why I put that there. You know, I think that's my phone number, but um, did I make it where it is required? to put a phone number in because if it is I don't want it required I did so put not required and then we'll hit save okay now let's hit preview again 
And then what we'll do is we'll send this to my other email address, which is this. I don't want my phone number in there. And then we'll hit, please send me more information. What that's gonna do is it's gonna submit me. And what happens is it should submit. I don't have another page, so yes, it's submitted, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a second, okay? We're gonna give it a second. Here's that email. Let's see, it shouldn't already sent it. It should not have already sent it. It has not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go back here for a minute and we're gonna give it a minute and we're gonna see if it does send it to me. Sorry guys, I hope I haven't lost you yet. Um, I'm just trying to do this the right way so you can kind of understand. So you're not like, oh my goodness, this is hard as crap. And you know, it took me a long time guys to figure out how to send this thing. Like it took me a good month, uh, a week or two because I could not figure it out to save my life. Okay. Um, make sure it's not down here in the spam, which I don't even know if I have spam set up on here. I don't think I do. Um, spam. There we go. Okay. There you go. Right there. It went to spam. Uh, so you got notification, funnel hacking lives download. Here's your PDF that you opted in for. See? And then there's your note. See? All right, guys. That's how you do that. Sorry. Little eh. But... Uh, when you're just doing off the wind, that's all you can do. So guys, I hope you get a lot of information from this. I hope it helps you. It helped me a lot when I finally figured it out. Matter of fact, I think I did a backflip. My, I'm six foot three, 240 pounds. It's hard for me to just to jump up and do a backflip. I literally didn't do a backflip because I would be probably paralyzed right now. But you know what? You get the point. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you so hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'm going to keep bringing you as much content as I can about click funnels, building funnels, affiliate marketing, blogging, anything, everything I could put my little, big, whatever hands on to help you guys. I appreciate everything you do. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.